Hello and welcome back to another Pressy HD video and today we have another career mode episode. This is episode 21 and the penultimate episode of season 3 of Everton career mode. Now, looking at the league table, this is how it stands. Four games left, we could still beat that Chelsea record of 95 points. We're on 91, they get 95 in their record season. It is still available for us. Four games, that is is a good 12 points available for us. It means that we could finish on 103 points maximum. But to be honest, if we want to beat that record, we've got to be beating teams like Newcastle, who are exactly, not exactly doing amazing in the league, but are always one of them teams in FIFA who seem stable enough to stay in the Premier League, but never really adventure out into the Europa League areas. I don't know, in FIFA, they don't seem to develop well enough, and a lot of teams don't really do that in FIFA. Teams like Newcastle, teams like Southampton, teams like Crystal Palace, they don't really progress. If anything, they only go down. And it's a bit of a shame because teams like Southampton have, have progressed in recent years and found themselves in a much higher position than what they were last season, of course. And, um, yeah, I mean, we won that game against Newcastle 1-0 in the end. This one's a simulated one against West Bromwich Albion. Now, some people will be questioning why would you simulate games? Well, why wouldn't I? I've put out a decently weak team, you know. The likes of Besic is in there. All the Vale, Klein and Passy isn't always first team, but has been recently. Now, we should win this game. Gambo has been sent off for West Bromwich Albion, and that puts them on 10 men. Still 1-0, though, so there's always that possibility. Not anymore. Samuel Said comes off the bench for Poloschi and makes sure of the victory. In fact, West Brom go down to 9 men in the last moments. Arguably, we should have done better that game and maybe got 4 or 5, but you know I'll take the 2. Now, some people will be wondering why on earth I'm playing Chelsea and simulating it. Yes, it's Chelsea, but... Yeah, we've only lost one game all season. There's a possibility against Chelsea that we could lose again. Although Truman does give us the lead, but why simulate it? To be honest, I was just playing to the last game of the season just to see the title lift. Now, to be honest, like I was saying, we've already won the league. And yes, Hazard, in fact, Thorgan Hazard, not the player that is going to be joining us at the end of the season, Eden, does put Chelsea 2-1 up. 3-1 now and Strootman red card results in the game being lost. The two Hazard brothers get a combined tally of three goals. Um, we get destroyed against Chelsea, 3-1. Now, that's a shame, yes, because we'd only lost one game all year, and that was against Newcastle. Um, and the fact that we lost this, yeah, it's a bit of a uh, killer on our sort of journey to this point. But, you know, I'm not too fussed about it. It means that we set up in such a way... That now, on the last day of the season, against West Ham United at Goodison Park at home, in front of our home fans, we will be lifting the trophy, of course. But look at the point tally. 97 points. One game left. Yes, we've beat Chelsea's record. But not only that, we've got th three points available. We could be the first and the only team in history to go to triple figures in the English First Division or the Barclays Premier League. Wow, this is a great opportunity to get 100 points here at Goodison Park. And I tell you what, we were nervous out there. But a love ball through to Thiago could change this game. Thiago cuts inside just 18 yards out. Pays it back into Atu. Atu manages to turn his man. Bursts inside. Beats the challenge. Rides that challenge. And manages to slot it into the net. Past Adrian. Currently, Christian Atu is the man who could have got the vital goal, which will put us on 100 points. Now, this is a great opportunity because this has been an outstanding season. We've lost only two games all year and drew very little as well. We've won most of our games. This is an opportunity which might not come around again. We might not actually have a season as good as this next year, especially with the update, which, by the way, I cannot play on the flipping update. Seriously, uh, you don't want to see some of the games in the Confederations Cup with Brazil. They are woeful. But seriously, I cannot play on the update. Uh, this was before the update, by the way, um, this recording. But we do... In fact, you can see the penalty. It is none other than Yamatong and our star centre-back. He has been a class player this year. Not really been recognised in the press, though. For some reason, the press haven't been very happy with him. They've rumoured that he hasn't had a good start and stuff like that. But, you know, I think he's done a decent enough job. 
but not there. He completely clattered the West Ham attacker and eventually is Moyega to take the penalty. Which, well, Howard was close to it, but uh, currently means that we won't be getting our big 100 points. It's just such a round figure to end on, isn't it? 100 points. It's just perfect. Pitch perfect. Um, and it would be absolutely excellent if we could. Moyega at the moment, though, he's doing his best to try and prevent us from it. And the Big Sam on the sideline is pushing West Ham forward to try and really, really stop uh, us, Everton FC, from getting that big old record in the books. Half-time 1-1, one, one, Christian Atsu and Maega with the penalty kick. We were pushing for the winner here, but it was difficult. Delefeu, though, maybe an opening as he bursts down the right wing. Great dribbling from him. He manages to burst inside, finds the shot. The opportunity was open to him. And, well, if you allow Delefeu the space to run like that, then he will stretch his legs. You've got to be more tight to him there. You know what? I couldn't care less. I'll take it. We won the Barclays Premier League. We finished on 100 points. And West Ham United, for some reason, are in dismay. I'm not really quite sure why. I don't know whether they got relegated or something, but why would you be so down? Like, players have fallen on the floor. It's not like you've missed out on winning the Premier League. We did win it a few months ago. Why have you missed out on West Ham? That's what I really don't like. They don't change the league and the cup celebrations, which means it, the other team are really disappointed. And you know, what have they got to be disappointed about? They've not lost anything, for God's sake. They're just in me table but either way um it does mean that despite the fact that howard's got his captain and armband on again in his final premier league game of his career he's still got his captain armband on don't know what's going on there this skeeky little lifts the trophy i mean piss off mate i don't want you in there i mean of god's sake yeah you're a great player but you've only just joined the club howard's been here through thick and thin and he doesn't even get to lift the trophy on the final day come on ea if I've set Howard as captain, it means I want him to lift the trophy, for God's sake. Oh, well, we'll have to let that go. The Champions League finals in the next episode, and it will be the last episode, of course, of Everton Career Road until the fourth season. Because, again, people, for some reason, are demanding a fourth season. I mean, if we don't win the Champions League, maybe there is a reason. But if we do, then why on earth would we want to? Um, but, yeah, I mean, the, uh, the Barclays Premier League trophy retained which uh, is quite shocking because last year we didn't get any Premier League celebrations which was a shame and to be honest I don't even know how we won the Premier League last year it was a bit of a fluke we was like in fourth all season and then suddenly at the end of bloop, we had a bit of a run of form and everybody else went shit and we ended up winning anyway I did hang watching I know we'll see you next time subscribe if you're new goodbye for now